So I started my YouTube channel four years ago, but since I was little, I have always had a visual imagination. I've always made small movies with my friends, done photo shoots with all my different cameras, never thinking I would make it into a career. And then in my 20s, I was actually able to make it into a career, but it really wasn't until this year that things got different. I really learned that my personal ability to see life cinematically and beautifully, no matter what my circumstance was, made my life drastically more beautiful and rich. My commitment to uploading a vlog once a week on YouTube has benefited my life in so many ways that I can't really describe. And honestly, sometimes my job is brutal. Being widely known but not really known at all, letting people in, having them betray you, being scared to let people in because they might betray you. It's really weird and it's weird to subject yourself to opinions of hundreds of thousands of people who don't really know you and you're growing and you're changing. But I know I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing and that's really special. And my ability to be able to turn my life into little movies is really special. Every single time I pick up my camera to create, I romanticize my world. So these videos, in a way, have really changed my life. So this is your reminder to romanticize the small things in life, even if you're not a creator. I promise you, it will make your life so much better. Good morning vlog. I'm feeling kind of camera shy today. So I said in my last vlog that the holidays are the busiest time of the year for content creators and for business owners. And guys, it has been the craziest two weeks of my life. I'm not kidding. I feel like it's been a year in the past two weeks. I think that's why I'm feeling like camera shy, I think. Um, because so much has happened. So my social media stuff, obviously the holidays, I've had to post or film an ad every single day, I feel like for the past two weeks. Um, so that, I've had a ton of vlogs, I've been editing, uploading. I had two completely separate, really exciting meetings <coughs> for my personal brand, which I will talk to you guys about in a future vlog once like that's all set in stone. And then in terms of Dairy Boy, we have a ton of products launching starting Friday. And not only that, we are making some really huge, exciting changes with Dairy Boy, which I will be sharing more with you guys about over the next few months. But what I can tell you is that we're gonna be opening a real office in a major city, and we've hired two new people, going to be hiring more. And one of those people is a designer, so Dairy Boy has our own designer in-house. We've been hiring someone freelance to help us with designs, but having a designer in-house will allow us to roll out product. And yeah, that was a big step and a big hire for us. We're literally so excited about it. I just feel like my ideas finally can all be brought to life and executed. So that's really, really exciting. There's just like a ton of moving parts and pieces with every aspect of my life right now, which is really amazing. I've spent so much quality time here and at home. And I was so glad that I was here while like all of this stuff has been happening because I just feel like very comfortable here. It's really nice to finally have this home base and and I've obviously lived here for like over a year and a half but, but I feel like the majority of my 20s I was moving and not happy where I was living and like to be going through so many business changes and accomplishing so many of my goals and things are just growing so much um, and to have just like a really solid home base I just feel really grateful for that so that's really cool and yeah i feel like there's a million other things that i like i'm not mentioning but it's just been a wild wild few weeks and i've had so many editors and really cool people reach out to me about my brand and what's to come and i'm just feeling very grateful so i just want to thank you guys for all the support as always yesterday i was feeling pretty burnt out just exhausted and feeling like I didn't have any social battery left. I've just been putting so much energy into everything that I'm doing. This morning, I really felt like I needed the morning alone. So I actually had no one come to work this morning. I told them all to take the morning off and I just wanted to spend the morning by myself. I don't know if you guys can relate to this, but I really need alone time and it's super important to me it's super important to my creativity it's super important to my mental health obviously i work from my house so at 9 a.m the work day starts 
here and there are so many amazing aspects of working from home but sometimes it is tough to separate work and your home life so i'm really excited that we're we are opening an office and i'm really glad that i took this morning to just i've been working but to just like be by myself to sort of reset and um i just love being alone i feel like i recharge when i'm alone it's surprising to a lot of people that I'm sort of an introvert a little bit. Um, but yeah, just a reminder that it is super important to spend time alone. And even before work, I think it's really healthy to wake up maybe an hour before work, make yourself a coffee, go for a walk by yourself. I feel like I have a million things to tell you guys and update you guys on. One of the things that I forgot to mention and say is that you guys sold out my camel hats on Urban Outfitters again. You guys are just incredible and i'm so grateful so thank you guys for supporting me on urban and really exciting guys i just got the email with the list of all of the stores that my hats are going to be in in urban so after we sold out our first hats on urban i had a meeting with them and they were like your hat was the number one product on the site the whole day you guys sold out the hat the first round you guys sold out the hat the second round and then they wanted to give the hats a go in the stores and we're going to be having a lot more hats on urban we're actually also launching a collaboration with urban i don't even know if i'm supposed to tell you guys that but anyways i'm gonna read you guys the long list of all the stores that my hats are gonna be in in the states and it's fucking insane and like i just can't believe this i can't believe oh and toronto Thank God. I have a pretty strong Canadian following, so I'm so glad that my Canadians will be included. I love my Canadians. Oh, a lot of places in... Oh my God, this is so cool. Why do I like want to tear up right now? I haven't cried in the past two weeks, and I feel like I have like a big cry coming. So, okay. Walnut Street, Broadway, Georgetown, Madison, Santa Monica, San Francisco, Costa Mesa, North State, Portland, Montreal, Toronto, Seattle, King of Prussia, Atlanta, Las Vegas, Cherry Creek, Adventura, New Orleans, Westwood, Mall of America, Charlotte, Pittsburgh, Kansas City, West Edmonton, St. Louis, St. Louis, Birmingham, Vancouver, Buffalo, Walnut Creek, Jacksonville, Montclair, Studio City, Durham, De Leon, Paramus, Kingston, Savannah, Nashville, New York City, Fifth Avenue, Palo Alto, the Toronto Mall, the mall that I used to live at, the New York City World Trade Center, Brooklyn, Honolulu, Vancouver, and Mississauga. That is insane. That is just so cool. Anyways, thank you guys. Thank you guys for just supporting me. I wish I could individually thank, meet, and hug every single person that's ever supported me and believed in me. I don't think that's possible, but I just, I'm giving you guys a virtual hug because I couldn't appreciate you guys anymore. I want to get off my computer and um, get going with my day. I'm going to have a me day today, but today I'm going to, what am I going to start with? need to get my nails done. I have some packages to open. I have some more meetings today. I want to go to the grocery store and I feel like I have some other stuff I need to do. Okay, before I run out for the day, I want to open some packages that I have in here with you guys. Okay, I am really, really excited about this one because so one of my best friends, Shannon Ford, some of you guys might already follow her. If you don't, you should. She is the funniest, sweetest, most thoughtful, genuine friend. Seriously, just like a great girl. We don't get to see each other too often, but when we do, it's just like the best. And and she rides for me and is so loyal and supports me the most. I just love her. And I got lunch with her uh, when I was in London at Wimbledon. And she had this phone case. And I'm not a big phone case girl, although I sell phone cases on Dairy Boy. Um, I know other people love phone cases. I like them, but I'm not like, not like a big phone case girl. Like you probably have never seen me with like a trendy phone case. I don't know. It's like I literally have a gray phone case on um, that looks like one a dad would have. Like I think this is a vibe, but I did something that is so unlike me and I bought like a really cool kind of crazy custom phone case no phone case has ever spoken to me like this phone case <gasps> oh my god that is so cool Brit is memoir i'm sorry if i'm pronouncing that wrong 
I feel like I am. I'll link you guys this product and I paid for this product full price myself. So these phone cases are handmade by a woman owned business. You basically like pick a theme of your phone case and then you can customize it. Tell them things you like, colors that you like. Oh my god, this is so cool. And they customize it for you. I mean, how sick is this case? Like, if I'm going to have an extra case, this is what it's going to look like. So I have a horse, a seashell, a little piece of china on it, which is really cool and really me. A T, the number five, which is one of my favorite numbers. A wishbone, another seashell, a little glass charm, a tooth, and a horseshoe. And a horse. It's like perfect. These packages I all got yesterday. I just haven't opened them yet. Um, so I'll probably get more as the day goes on. Heaven Mayhem sent a package. Ooh, their earrings. You guys know I'm actually wearing their earrings today. Oh my gosh, so cute. Love. They're so sweet. They send me all of their stuff, and it's just really thoughtful. Really cute. Also, guys, just because this is sitting on my desk, this is my drone. So I bought this drone, and Tommy was, like, getting really into using it and learning how to use it. But Tommy loves... An activity so I gave him this to use while I was like working a lot last week and he was using it and he got pretty good and then I was like oh can I give it a go like let me give it a try and for some reason I am insane at flying a drone I don't really know why other than this is really random I used to play Minecraft in high school I literally used to play like the online PvP player versus player games on Minecraft with my brother I was really into it you could like build a lot of stuff on Minecraft which I really liked Anyways, that's a story for another day, but I feel like the controls are kind of similar, the way you like pan around. But anyways, I was like really, really good at flying the drone. So I'm actually gonna be ordering a nicer drone. This is like the kind of like beginner level drone. I wanna get a really big one for Florida with like the water. I feel like the quality of the camera might be better. The quality of this camera is good, but it's not like the highest level. And I'm just like really into flying it and think it's like so fun. So yeah, there's gonna be a lot of drone content featured in all my videos because I literally love to fly it and I think it adds a really cool element to the vlogs. I feel like it really, especially because I live in the suburbs and in the suburb that I live in, there's a lot of like beautiful land and I do live right by the water, like literally down the street from me is the marina. I think it just adds a really cool element of um, scene setting and wherever I am and I'm gonna be traveling with this small one and I wanna bring it to major cities everywhere I go all around the world and wherever I can fly it, I want to get footage for you guys. And I think it just really adds to the production of my logs. So that's the drone update. I love it. I like literally enjoy flying it so much. But okay, I'm going to run out and get my nails done. Let's do it. Okay, just pulled in to get my nails done. I think I'm going to do square today. I also don't know what color I'm going to get. I feel like dark colors don't look very good on my hands, personal preference. I feel like light colors are more flattering on my hands, so I think I'm gonna do French. I just love a French manicure, so I'm gonna do that, and then I might run to the market, do some cooking, so yeah. Oh, Olivia's calling me. Hey. All right, gonna go get my nails done. I said this before on my Instagram story, but I bring my own nails to the nail salon. I use Gel X. Um, they're the best shape. They're really good for small nail beds because they have like a really nice curve to them And I think they are the thinnest and look the most natural and this is not sponsored um, Yeah, okay, so I'm excited. I'm gonna go run in and get my nails done and I will see you guys after okay My nails are done. They look really good. I'm really happy with them guys not to be a bad vibe or anything, but Fuck daylight savings Whoa, it should be illegal just stepped outside for my nail appointment. It's four and it's literally pitch dark outside and it's really cold and I don't like it. Someone told me, this is definitely a rumor, I feel like that daylight savings next year won't be a thing. Um, that would be great. If there's a petition I can sign for that, I would love to sign it. I have a meeting on Friday and then I'm gonna head to Florida with Tommy. I'm gonna go to Art Basel, probably. We got invited to some fun things. We're probably gonna go to, and then just like being in Florida. Tommy is a big training block in Florida in December, and obviously the new house. So, really excited to get to Florida. I'm cold, my tan is fading, gotta go. There are so many things 
that are in the works like like I've always had fun projects and like collaborations and stuff but the things that are in the works are so exciting and like I can't believe that it's happening to me or that I'm even like having these conversations and I just I hate that I can't actually talk about them I do want to be sensitive to that like I want to not be annoying about like constantly having like things I can't tell you guys but I also get so excited and I want to tell you guys because when the thing that I'm the things that I'm working on are announced I want you guys to feel like you were along the journey with me like a little bit anyways I'm thinking I'm gonna make the steak sandwich that I made in Florida I don't know if you guys remember I made this like really yummy steak sandwich in Florida that I've been craving okay I am gonna do a little bit of a grocery shop for the week so I'm gonna get all of my basic stuff Okay guys, gonna do a little grocery haul for you. I only got a few things. I'm gonna go to Stu Leonard's tomorrow cause they make some things that I wanna get for the week. But I got some light brown sugar. I got some of this chocolate powder. Got some of these. I'm gonna make banana, gluten-free banana healthy muffins. I got green beans, almond flour for the muffins, carrots, sourdough bread for breakfast, onions, garlic, a steak for the sandwich, the bread for tonight, arugula, spinach, and coconut oil, and Gruyere cheese just to eat at the house. I actually use the coconut oil in the muffins. All right, guys, I'm back at the computer. Got a little sidetracked, but I did finish most of my emails, but I just found the most gorgeous outfit for a tennis match. Like, I'm ordering this immediately. Wow, that is just stunning i feel like i should get this for the australian open but i wanted to wear something kind of fun for the australian open but fuck it i could do a different theme every day i'm ordering this like right now add to cart thank you also i just realized i didn't really show you guys my nails here they are i really like them i haven't done square in a while i think it's cute i'm gonna Call my dad and see if he picks up. Wow. You picked uh, up. I always pick up. No, you don't. You're the one that doesn't pick up, not me. No. Well. Well. Guess what? Well. Nothing too exciting. Um they That's great. You thanks for texting uh for emailing Rob too. That was really nice. Yeah. I'm vlogging right now. Guys, my dad, what did you just say? That you're, you're, you said that my emails are really professional? Yeah. My emails are always professional. Um, well, good. I'm glad. And, and so it's a Christmas party just to meet other people, people in his company? Yeah, it's like a big Christmas party. Um, where is it? At the, at the same place we were yesterday? No, no, it's not at the media company. It's at, where is it? It's in New York and, uh, Zach Brown. Oh. Zach Brown. Not Zach Brown, Zach Bryan, um, country artist is performing. Oh my god, that's so cool, Paige. Yeah, it was really flattering of them to invite me. That's so great. It's probably gonna meet a lot of cool people, I would think. Yeah. You're not, you're not taking anybody, right? I was gonna bring Olivia with me. You're allowed to do that? I mean, okay yeah, I that. asked them and they said that, that she's, to she's totally welcome. Okay, cool. Well, Olivia's your friend and also part of the process, so it's good for Olivia to be involved, I think. No, absolutely. I'm excited for her to meet them. Um, but yeah, I'm cool. really excited and flattered that they invited me. So that's cool. That's great. That's great. All right. I just wanted to call oh. you and tell you that. Okay. And then what you go? So you're leaving for Florida on Friday. How long are you going to be in Florida for? Um, that's a good question. I'm going to Florida. So I have the party on Thursday, holiday party right. with them, meeting with them on Friday at the farm. And then... Yeah. Um, kind of see what, what they want you. They may want you to... I don't know, don't go too far, because what if they want you to meet somebody and keep me updated on what's going on, okay? All right, love you. Love you too, bye. Bye. Okay, caught up with my dad a little bit. Um, he was actually at one of the meetings. 
which he never comes to any of my meetings. Okay, if you've been watching my vlogs for a minute, you might already know how to cook a steak well. But if you do not know, I wanna show you guys, again, how to make the perfect steak and you don't need a grill. Sometimes I actually prefer using a skillet. I think knowing how to cook meat is the most impressive thing that you can do in the kitchen. We can all cook side dishes and follow a recipe. Knowing how to cook meat is very simple, but it's harder than it seems, and I think a lot of people don't cook their meat right. And I don't mean that in a mean way. Anyways, I just don't feel like a lot of people know exactly how restaurants cook their steak or how to get your steak cooked right, especially on the stovetop. So I'm gonna share again today. So I just liberally seasoned this sirloin steak that's been sitting out, salt and pepper, that's all. And I let it get to room temperature. Now there is a very specific way on how to cook steak right on the stovetop. Having a skillet, something like this, makes it much easier. I feel like you can get a really good sear with one of these. So normally I would actually use ghee, which is clarified butter, to do this steak, but I don't have any. So I'm gonna use olive oil. Okay, let's do it. I'm gonna let this olive oil heat up. The reason why you wanna use a clarified butter, which is ghee, instead of olive oil is because you can cook it at a higher temperature, but olive oil is all right. We're gonna be all right. It still will taste really good with olive oil. So once you get this really hot, you're gonna add your steak. And it has to be really hot. You will not get a really good sear on your steak if it is not really hot. That is the number one mistake people make, is cooking their meat at a low temperature. If you're on the grill, if you're on the stove top, it has to be at a high temperature. All right, that looks good to me. Going to let that steak sit and I'm not gonna touch it. You wanna give the meat time to sear without moving it or touching it. Don't move it around in the pan at all. Literally just let it sit. Okay, then I'm just gonna let it sit and then I'm gonna cut into it once it's just sat there for a second. Okay, next for the bread. This says it's a rustic French bread. I think this sort of looks like a ciabatta loaf, but what do I know? I'm just gonna cut. Oh my God. Okay, don't do that. Don't fucking do that. That was crazy. Okay, trying again. Not my best work. Um, but, okay, cut this open. I'm going to put this in the oven um, to make the sandwich. Do not look at how crooked this is. Okay, for the star of the show. If I had used a butter or a fat, this would have been a little bit crispier, but it still has a really nice char on it. Um, another really important part about steak is using a really sharp knife when you cut the steak. If you have a really clean, very sharp cut on the steak, it literally like tastes like butter, the steak. I don't know how to describe it, but do you see how clean that cut is? Yeah, that is so good. Also, yes, I like my steak basically still mooing. So, to each in their own. I also think it's much easier to thinly slice steak when you have a very sharp knife. I'm kind of avoiding some of this fat, so I'm just gonna cut around it. This is perfect to me crispy outsides and medium rare inside and it literally melts in your mouth and it is not chewy that is also dependent on the quality of meat you're buying buying nice grass-fed beef is so worth it so I highly recommend that because you can cook this steak exactly how I did but if you don't have a good cut of steak then it won't turn out the same okay next the sandwich I'm gonna get it out of the oven just warmed it up a bit didn't really do much besides that it's nice and warm on the inside that's how I like it. Oh my god, that smells so good. I'm gonna take butter and put this down on the bottom layer of the sandwich. And this is much easier with softened butter. So, just saying. Next, I'm gonna put down a small bed of arugula. Not too much. You know, this is not 
supposed to be a salad sandwich. It's just supposed to complement everything. Just a little bit, and then we're gonna put the steak down. Now you don't wanna like, I don't think you wanna layer the steak too much. So kind of give a little bit of steak in each bite. My mouth is literally watering. Next, some whole grain mustard. This stuff is so good. So put a layer of this on the top. This is a very important player in the sandwich, so don't forget this part. And then last but not least, balsamic glaze. I mean, that looks so good. Close it. I like to like really press it down and then I cut it. This is definitely my new hyperfixation. 